How's it going, everybody? It's your boy Poe, and today let's talk about the new creature that we got for Axel of Ascendant, the Archelon. So, let's get into it. Okay, guys, so this is an Archelon right here. We already have a couple them, and they are amazing. They have massive weight, they have a lot of stamina, and they have a special saddle that will carry four people and a rider, so five. Plus, you don't have to worry about scuba tanks because they will give you oxygen. Not to mention, they're immune to jellyfish stuns. They give you more biotoxin, and overall, they're a really unique mount. Now, other than that, they will produce something called kelp, which I think I can extract something from that. Yep, I have one algae. It's not kelp, it's algae. So, one algae, and this is supposed to be like mutton for herbivores. So, you can, whenever you're taming an herbivore, you can feed it this. You can even eat it for yourself. Look at my food. I have 75. And I eat one and it gives me 25 food or around 25 food. Let me see. Okay, so it gave me 20 food. So each one is going to be 20 food. But yeah, you can use it for herbivores. You can use it as snacks for yourself. But let's talk about the important things where you can find them. So you can find them on the island and on the center all over the ocean except on the east side. I don't know why on the east side of the island you cannot find a single one and neither on the center. But overall, north, west, south, you will be able to find them. Now, when it comes to taming, you have two options, either biotoxin or superior cable. Now, the biotoxin gives you so little taming progression that I don't suggest it. I always suggest superior cable because it will give you a massive boost. And right now, I'm struggling because it's just floating and it doesn't let me go down. What I have to press? I have to press something. Hello? Can you go down? Can I, do I have to press a button or something? Oh yeah, R3. <laughs> yeah, you have to press R3 to be able to go down. If not, it keeps like floating. So we have one around here. Yep, there he goes. It's fighting a shark. What level is it? Level 5. Let me see if I can kill this shark first. Oh, that's a 150 shark too. Well, that's going to be a good test for this to see how strong this one can be. This is, what, 350 melee, 10,000 health. Oh, they have a lot of health, so they're going to be really tanky too. Come on, sharky. I barely did any damage. What, 100? Yeah, I'm doing 100 damage. No, oh, that's going to be horrible. Oh, good thing that I have a sword, I have a tech rifle. Let me kill it. If I can move fast. Can I just swim a shark? I think I can. Okay. Let me kill this real quick. Okay. Yeah, die. I need that turtle alive. There we go. Okay, so let me go get the jellyfish, because normally whenever you see one of those turtles, you're also going to see jellyfish near them. So it's actually pretty good because you can kill the jellyfish, start the taming, and make sure that nobody else steals your tame, especially now at the beginning since everybody's like looking for them. So there's a jellyfish. As you can see, or as you will see, we are immune to the stun. Let me bite them. They got bonus damage and they gather a lot more. And they eat it a lot. So let me take it out before it eats all of it. Let me put it on the hot bar. And let's go tame that total. Uh, it was a level 5, was it? Yeah. Oh, now since I kill some jellyfish, I get the special buff like the Megatherium, Jellyfish Killer. Which, if we go to the inventory, you will see that it will say, Oop, wrong thing. Your buffs. Jellyfish killer, ongoing damage increased by 150, incoming damage reduced by 25. So, let's go for this one. Now, I suggest using a shark, using a baryonyx, anything that can kill stuff. And be careful with the barracudas, the Cephactinus. Because they will also attack you. Basically anything attack these turtles. Let's see, come over here. This is a level 5. So a level 5 with biotoxin. Is 5%. 
that's at level five and we are currently on one times so yeah that's gonna be crazy let's change to kibo which is superior kibo and you're gonna see just how massive the difference is gonna be look at that that's what 47 47 from one kill so yeah let's finish taming it and then we'll head back to base to show you a couple more interesting things okay guys so we are back at base with the one that we just tamed so let's throw it out because you need to know this so as you can see most of them look like greenish and this is because of the algae that grows on their backs. So you can see this one has produced two algae and it will be full at one hour and 33 minutes. So let me click that. And as you can see, once you grab it, all the greenish goes away. Now, this can be accelerated or increased if you are in the water. So as you can see, it says about two hours basically. So and that's on land. Now, when we take it to the water, when it's like swimming because it's not dash such in the water it has to be swimming and just before i forget the saddle is unlocked at level 45 it requires 600 fiber 200 metal ingots 850 hide and 250 wood now going back to the algae when you look the time is reduced by half so if you leave them in water they will produce algae way faster and the algae can be used for sushi or kibble or not kibble the mountain for the herbivores or just for your own food now the sushi is something new that you don't have to unlock like any new engrams you just go to the cooker and look at this is 20 rg three raw prime fish meat 10 long grass and white coloring i wonder why the, you're gonna you're gonna paint the corn white to make it as rice but yeah basically that's the sushi and the sushi what it does is that it gives you taming effectiveness whenever you hit something that has been knocked out. Now, that has to be tested because, you know, there's a lot of things that can go wrong with that. Like increasing the taming effectiveness past 100. But it has a cooldown of 5 minutes, so you have to be there for a while. So yeah, I'll test that out. But other than that, I want to show you the eggs of this creature. Because yes, they lay eggs. And they are actually really cool. Let me go inside. Don't mind the mess over here and look at this look at the eggs like that neon green fits so perfectly with them and they are about a five hour incubation time i don't know about baby or anything else but i just know the incubation time is five hours on single times but yeah and i still don't know what baby eats i'll let you know i'll basically pin a comment on this video once i figure out but apparently they say that after you tame them, the only thing that they eat is going to be biotoxins. So let's try it out real quick. If I bring some meat, because, yep. Let's do it real quick. That That's going to suck if they only eat biotoxin, because, you know. I know there's a lot of jellyfish, but are we going to have to go to killing a lot of jellyfish and keeping the toxin, or? Yeah, it's going to be interesting for sure. Okay, if babies only eat biotoxin, that's going to be horrible as well. So this one has a little bit of food. Do you eat meat? Nope. Do you eat the RG? Mm, wait, I didn't see what was it. Yeah, they eat the RG. Oh, interesting. So, and of course, biotoxin. Yep. Now I do have to check. Do they eat berries? Let's go check real quick. Yeah, I was not gonna do this, but now since I'm here, I'm like, let, let's let's try it out. You, you you're learning with me. We're learning at the same time. Mayo berry, pinto berry. Oh, the cyan berry thing. Okay. Oh, that's gonna be interesting. You're gonna have to have a lot of them so you can extract algae and feed them. And I just wonder the baby if they eat the same. Okay, berries. Oh, they eat berries. Oh, okay. Okay, that's nice. We don't have to worry too much about it. They eat the same algae, berries. I'm pretty sure they eat crops, so yeah. Well, 
and that's everything for it guys now you know what they eat how to tame them where to find them and the only thing is finding a decent level so you can start your brilliant lines so with everything shown and said that's gonna be everything for this video really hope you enjoyed it found it useful and if you do remember leave a like subscribe for more future videos any question or suggestion leave them in the comment section below and i'll see you in the next one peace